So I had a client that got a recent diagnosis of prediabetes. And when she came to me, this really scared her because she said that, you know, I don't want to feel doomed like I've got cancer or some kind of incurable disease. I mean, the way she described it was like she felt like it was a death sentence. She was like, diabetes runs in my family. My mom had it. My dad had it. My grandpa had it. And she felt like this was really like the end for her. And I tried to reassure her and, and illustrate that diabetes can be reversed with certain lifestyle habit changes. So one of the diets in particular that was actually tested to see its ability to reverse or prevent diabetes or actually decrease the risk is something called the Diabetes Prevention Plan, which really is not that unique. And I don't agree with certain aspects of it, like eating low fat, but here's what the researchers actually found and kind of reinforce this idea I brought up. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alex over at ModernHealthMonk.com. So in this actual study, the researchers took over a thousand people and it was an intense lifestyle change program, right? They changed core behaviors, core diet, core exercise, and in addition, they had certain kinds of check-ins with these people. So the first thing these people had to do was meet with a case manager. The case manager was honestly just accountability. It's like checking in with a friend. It's someone that's like, hey, are you doing the stuff you said you were actually going to do or not? And the case manager, every few weeks they met with them, and this was over the course of half a year or a year. The second thing was the people had a exercise change. So all their exercise regime was, was brisk walking. Walking quickly, I think about 75 minutes per week, or aiming for at least, you know, one to three hours per week. But it was just walking. It wasn't like some intense workout. And the third was a dietary change and behavioral changes and that kind of thing. And it was really just kind of this typical, don't eat American crap diet. Right? The, the researchers actually, it's, it was an older study that suggested this whole low-fat thing, which I totally disagree with. But really the point is that they picked one simple accountability habit, checking in, one simple dietary habit, eating XYZ foods, and one simple exercise habit, briskly walking. Now, over the course of this year, the people that actually adhered to this cut their diabetes risk in half. So there was almost a 60% reduction in their chances of getting diabetes, which is proof, if I've ever seen it, that you can actually not only prevent it, but also reverse it. Now, obviously, I don't know the data on whether these people had diabetes or pre-diabetes pre already, but there are studies as well suggesting that, wow, you know, going very low carb, for example, for a prolonged period of time, or changing to more Mediterranean diet, or having more meat and plants, the right meat and the right plants and the right fats can actually reverse diabetes. And my grandma's a great example. She was diabetic, started eating right and exercising, eating more olive oil versus the crappy oils, eating more of the right stuff and not the wrong stuff. And as she began briskly walking, she, you know, she's a big walker now. She's very energetic for a woman in her late 70s, and she's off all her medications. Now, this is not that common. I mean, excuse me, it's not that uncommon. But a lot of people still think that diabetes or pre-diabetes is some kind of death sentence diagnosis. It's not. So your takeaways today are really two small things. Number one, yeah, diabetes can be reversed or at least extremely well managed, extremely well. You can extreme, you just take care of the symptoms at a very high level, remove most of the negative stuff, and really live a mostly normal life if you get back on the bandwagon of eating right and exercising, that kind of typical BS advice we hear in the industry. But if you just pick a few simple nutritional habits and a few simple exercise habits, it is a reality. It's not a pipe dream. Now, the second thing is a little bit deeper. Whatever your health diagnosis, don't assume it's a death sentence, even though it's something that modern medicine right now may not fully understand. And a good example of this is my own IBS. I've had it for five or six years now, and the GI doctor and nutritionist all say there's no cure, and despite that, they were the least helpful of all the, the alternative practitioners and the other medical doctors I had seen that actually provided me with some help. And now I'm mostly 90, 95% symptom-free. Now, this is impossible or incurable, but obviously modern medicine is still evolving, still learning certain things. So don't give up experimenting to see what works for you, no matter the diagnosis, whether it's weight, whether it's a health or disease issue, keep searching, keep testing things out, see what works for you. So today's habit is really, really simple. Today's tiny habit is very, it's a three-part habit, okay? This triad, pick one simple nutritional habit, like eating 30 grams of protein with each meal. I highly recommend that I've seen so many of my students lose hundreds of pounds of weight combined. Pick one exercise habit. Walking five minutes could literally be your exercise habit. That's it. And it's really important, pick one accountability habit. Whether it's journaling at the end of the night, what did I do? Was this good enough? 
pick one, maybe it's a friend check-in, call your friend once a day or once a week. Hey, are we doing this? How did it go? What's your progress? Give me the results. Or whatever it is, journal, shoot a video, whatever it is, talk to your friend, pick one nutritional exercise and accountability habit. So I hope that helps. If you're on YouTube, go on over to modernhealthmonk.com. Go ahead, leave a comment. On Modern Health Monk, there's also a real food weight loss guide. If you're there, you can go check it out. Wherever you are, leave a comment below. Tell me, maybe you've gotten a diagnosis of prediabetes or a health condition. Tell me what are some steps that you've used that have given you great results. Maybe you can inspire some others below. So thanks so much. Go ahead, subscribe on YouTube. You'll get the next video right away. Leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.